All right, today let's discuss a little bit on the integration by part. Okay, first, we kind of need to know the integration by part formula actually is came from the product rule. So if you see product rule before, the product rule tell you like differentiate u multiply v, what you will get is you will actually get the uh, u differentiate v and then plus v differentiate u then it. All right, if I add the integration sign for every single one, then I can see here, we can simplify, right? So if I move this one to the other side, what I will get is uv minus integrate v du or equals to integrate of u dv. Okay, so if I rearrange them, I change the side, uh, so I will get integrate u v prime or equals to uv minus integrate v u prime. Right, this is the formula for integration by part. So we will use this formula to integrate um, the difficult question like ln x or x squared ln x. All right, but right now you have some challenging uh, part, which is example, if you have integrate x squared ln x, which one is u and which one will be uh, dv or we call v prime. So over here, we have a rule for you to follow. This one they call lag. So basically what this rule uh, is helping you is for you to choose the u value. So you need to follow the priority. Start from the L is the most, uh, if whenever you see the L, you will choose the L. If you don't have L, we choose I. Don't have I, we'll choose A. Basically, you need to follow this priority like this. All right, L is basically log. So ln x is considered as a log. That whenever I have a log at the integration, I will choose the L first. I stands for the inverse trigonometry. So basically, it's like cos second. Uh, second and all, all that, so it's called inverse trigo. A stands for algebra, and T stands for trigonometry, and E stands for exponent. So in this case, x squared is considered as a uh, algebra, so this is A. Like ln x is considered L, so if I have A and L over here, I always choose the L to be my U, so then another one will be my V prime. Okay, so okay, so let's have a look the easier one first, which is integrate the ln x. Okay, so if I want to integrate the ln x, right, first thing is um, you realize ln x is only L here, then then this one we definitely will let it become a U. Then where is our V prime? Okay, in this case, the V prime is basically the dx. Here actually have a one dx. So what we want to do is we will let this one become our U, and then this one will become our V prime. And then over here, this is what I will write. U equals to ln x and V prime is equals to uh, dx. Or we can see like one dx. Okay, so over here, you can see U, if I differentiate, right, I will get du dx equals to one over x. So du is one over x dx. Okay, later I will explain why I write like this. Okay, so over here, I should have a V, right? Because this v, after differentiate, I will get 1 dx. So therefore, what is the v? You can try to integrate uh, it if you do not know. Yeah, if you know, basically, the v will equal to x. Yeah, because if you, it's over here, you just imagine you do the dv dx, you do the dv dx, then will equal to 1, isn't it? So dv over here is basically 1 dx, isn't it? So, which is something like this. Okay, so over here, your v will be the x. All right, then what the formula tells us is, we will, if you integrate u v prime, we will get what? u multiply v. So over here, u will need to multiply the v. And then I need to minus integrate of v multiply u prime. So u prime is basically is a du okay u prime is actually a du here so just in case some student a bit lost here so u prime is basically is a d, du okay so basically it's a short form right? okay so over here what you need to do is you use a u multiply v and then you need to minus v integrate of v multiply the u prime okay v multiply u prime okay so i i'm going to write the whole solution here so u multiply v is basically x ln x minus integrate of 
this one, multiply this one, x multiply 1 over x, basically you get 1. So it's basically 1 dx. Okay, so dx over here basically is trying to tell us we need to integrate in terms of x. So later we will get something like, I integrate 1, we get x, right? So therefore, my final answer should be x ln x minus x plus c. Right, this is what happens if you integrate ln x dx. Alright, so if you use the same logics to do the second question, let's see what happens next. Alright, so for second question, so we've seen we need to follow this rule. So therefore, in this case, ln x will be my u. And then the x square will be my v prime or dv. Okay, this one you can just uh, think like something like u dv equals to uv minus uh, v du. Okay, if you're not so familiar with v prime or u prime, you can do like that. Okay, so in this case, um, okay, maybe I follow the green color one. So I will rewrite it. So I will say uh, this is ln x and then this is x square dx. So this one will be my u, this one will be my dv. Okay, so right now I want to integrate them. So I will just write the u like this, which is ln x. And then dv, I write at the bottom, is uh, x squared. Okay, so so what we want to do here is basically have, there's a dx here. Lah, okay, because this one should be a dv dx equals to x squared. So yeah, I'm going to move the x squared to the other side. So you can see dv is the whole thing here. Alright, so here, if I do the du dx, I will get 1 over x. So du will be 1 over x of dx. Okay, then here, I, I must have a v, then I do dv dx, then I get this one, right? So if you're not so familiar, what you can do is you can integrate both sides. So if I integrate the x square, I basically, I what, what I get is I will get the uh, x cubed over 3, isn't it? So, right now, I need to follow this rule, which is u multiply v and then minus v multiply integrate version of v multiply du. Okay, so if you get the idea, then I will write the answer. So, this one multiply this one. So, normally, I write the algebra in front. I will say x cubed over 3 and then ln x and then minus, I integrate of uh, v multiply this one. So you can see 1 over x and x cubed over 3. I simplify. I should get x squared over 3. I should get x squared over 3. All right, then what I want to do next is I just need to integrate this one. x cubed ln x over 3. This one, if I integrate, what do I get is I will get the power plus 1 x cubed divided by 3 over 9 plus c. Okay, so this is how I get the answer for this one. Anyways, uh, this is a short video. In the future, if I get more example, I can show the difficult example of uh, integration by part. But if you understand the basic logic, right, so it's not too hard, but then you kind of need to see a lot of example in order to master this skill. Anyways, I will see you in the next video. I hope you learned something from this video. See you around in my YouTube. Bye-bye.